So this video is going to be about human population growth. So the first thing we'll talk about is the demographic transition. So the demographic transition is a shift from a high birth rate and a high death rate to a low birth rate and low death rate. So in this graph, we can see that in stage one of the demographic transition, we have a very high birth rate and a very high death rate. And then as we move towards stage five, then we see both the birth rate and the death rate start to fall. So the death rate typically begins to fall for before the birth rate because of an increase in the quality of healthcare and sanitation. Um, and so that tends to fall first. And then as well as um, improved education, especially for women, later on, once we get further into the demographic transition, we start to see more family planning, more women having careers. And so they're having ch children at um, later points in their life, as well as less children than they were um, in earlier stages of the demographic transition. And so then we start to see the birth rate fall, and then we end up in this area with very um, kind of low levels of overall population growth. And so age structure is something else we look at when we're looking at the human population. And so that's going to be the relative number of individuals in each age group in a population. And so um, Based on what the age structure of a population looks like, you can figure out if that population is going to be um, growing, shrinking, or kind of staying constant. So in a growing population, it's going to look like a pyramid. And so you're going to have a large number of individuals in these younger age groups. And the reason that this uh, population is going to be growing is because these all the members that are currently in these age groups are going to move up and eventually become um, of a reproductive age and so they'll have their own children and so it's just going to continually increase uh, the rate of growth of that population. Um, and then for a country like the United States that has a slow growth um, it's mostly um, pretty uniform except for at the top uh, where you have less individuals of an older age but again as these individuals become of reproductive age they're going to have their own children but because it's un pretty uniform amongst the majority of the age groups, you're going to have a slower growth rate than you would in um, a country that has like a pyramid-shaped age structure. And then in a country with no growth, you kind of have this slight reverse, or not reverse, but upside-down pyramid. So you have less numbers of uh, individuals in these younger age groups than you do in this middle age group. And so as these individuals grow up, they will also have their own children, but because there's already less of them than the ones that are already in the middle-aged group, this population is actually going to end up shrinking. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.